Mark Sell Klein is a world-renowned mind control expert and millionaire coach behind 10,000 plus transformations with a global client base and a loyal fan base of 569,000 plus. Hi everyone. So let's create this wheel. It was uh, created by Aurelian.vfx. Okay. So open your After Effects. First of all, I will create a solid. Keep it, you know, white color or something of white. Hit OK. Now, what I want to do is go here, search for gradient ramp and put it on this. Then swap the colors. Okay. And I can, you know, drag this down a bit. So, you know, you'll get that black color at the end over here okay next what we can do is at the start as you can see this is the you know design he's going for in the start so let's create this design first then we'll animate it take this pen tool delete the fill okay make a stroke to red color okay click here and while holding shift again click here okay now increase the stroke like this afterwards what we can do is click on this and right click then you can head on to layer styles then gradient overlay then we can head on to edit gradient and here we can select this as red or bright red and this white color as maroon or dark red drag this midpoint okay like this you can get this you know dark red over here and light red over here just like in the reference video okay now let's do the text Now I'll bring my image, scale it up, put it over here. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is simply I will you know delete this and then I search first tint and put it on here. Okay, to make it this color. Then I will head on to my user presets and bring my half tone effect. And put it on this you can do this half tone effect you can just head on to youtube and search for how to do half tone effect in after effects and you know just do the half tone effect and then you can save it as your preset and apply it here now for the next thing these lines okay so it is easy what we'll do is again select this pen tool while selecting the stroke i'll make the stroke code first and now I'll make two lines. One I'll make it here. Okay. Head on inside the lines, contents, shape, stroke, plus icon. Hit the plus icon on dashes and increase it. Now just hit Ctrl D to copy it. Hit P and drag the position to the right and put it over here. Okay. Now we have got these two. Okay. As simple as that. Now we'll do the animation. Okay. So first it will open up. These animations will come. Okay. Simple. So let's do that. Shape layer. Okay. And then I'll hit the scale property. Deselect this. Okay. Delink this. And then make this zero. Go ahead. Add one second. And make it 100 again. F9. And then drag this to the left. So as this opens up, okay, this all will fade in. So simply let's do this fade in animation. Hit T, opacity keyframe, go ahead. Again hit T, go to the first keyframe, make it zero. Hit F9. You know, you can do any text animation, but as we are following the reference, I'm doing this. But if you, you know, use your creativity, it will be better. Now let's see the sideline animation. So it is going up. Okay. So we can make that easily. So just we'll go here. Okay. Somewhere here. And then I will select the shape layers. Go to add and select trim paths. Okay. Open the trim paths. Hit end keyframe. Okay. Select this and hit U. Go ahead. Somewhere here. Again, hit the end keyframe. Go ahead. And then make them zero. Select both of them. Press F9 and drag it like this. But both of them are starting from here. One should start the opposite. So I'll just select one and hit R and rotate it. So you will get this effect. And that, okay. So for this movement, what you can do is right click. Adjustment layer. 
put the adjustment layer just above this image okay and i'll search for posterize time and put it on this adjustment layer make it 15 okay and then i can just head on to you know this image now i'll select p for position keyframe go ahead again hit position keyframe go to the first keyframe and drag this down now make sure the anchor point is at his feet and then just go ahead somewhere here hit on rotation keyframe go here again hit on rotation keyframe and make it like this tilt it a bit okay now go here again Control and v to paste this okay now as you can see you will get that you know that next thing what you can do is this whole scene goes to the left and then this scene comes okay so this all is easy okay let me show you first right click camera okay and then make everything 3d except the white solid okay now right click again null object i mean hit 3d parent pick with this camera to the null and then after this scene is over hit p position keyframe go ahead and then drag this out so like this f9 okay and then drag this to the left okay in the starting i can also hit position keyframe again go here and then again hit position keyframe go to the first keyframe and zoom this in so it will be a zoom out animation okay now we have to create this scene which is very easy okay so let me first write the text which is mind control as you can see this text has gradient overlay which is light red at the top and dark red at the bottom we did this okay so same thing we have to do again which is hit right click and then layer styles gradient overlay then head on to edit gradient select this red select this make it dark drag the midpoint okay let's do that okay so for line animation it is very simple which you have to do is select the pen tool again make sure the stroke is selected and then make something like this add trim paths and go ahead again hit end keyframe go to the first keyframe make it zero select both of these f9 drag this to the left okay now stack this out and then simple animations are there so just simply select rounded rectangle deselect this head on to fill make this red again i'll head on to fill and select linear gradient and make this shape okay now select the shape and change this color to red change this color to dark red hit ok trash this down drag this up okay as simple as that and then the next thing is this hand okay hit s to scale properties and bring this over here i'll hit tint and bring it up on here okay and make this a bit darker color hit okay now again hit ctrl d this time right click transform and flip horizontal and bring it over here the next thing is bringing the brain so first we need to bring the brain image okay and again i just put tint on this now simply i'll just hit toggle switches more select this track mat and then put it on this shape layer and enable the eye icon okay now i just need to select this brain hit p position keyframe go ahead again hit position keyframe go to the first keyframe drag it down s9 
and then drag this to the left so we'll get this animation now we need to again hit toggle switches mode and make everything 3d here now we need to bring the scene okay in the center like this okay so this is how you create the scene it's very simple okay as you can see there is some shadow so it is very easy to make search for drop shadow okay and then put it here on this brain first increase the opacity distance and softness so you get this black underneath okay now do the same okay just copy this and put it on the hands okay can also put it on this yeah so it's very simple to make okay now the next scene is same okay same animation is used okay and this line also we have done the previously okay same thing okay so this next thing as you can see here first it was the gradient overlay and then it became bright red so how to do this animation okay it's very simple so what we can do is first i'll just hit p and again hit position keyframe go to the right and try this again out now let me do that text okay so first i'll hit new text like here 10000 or whatever okay so let me show you how to make that animation make this big so you can see it properly now select this okay right click and then layer styles and then gradient overlay now open gradient overlay then you can select edit gradient now to like the usual okay now what we have to do is select this offset go ahead and drag this so as you can see this became brighter now you can see the animation okay it was darker here and then it became brighter so this was the same animation okay which was used here okay we can you know when it was here what we can do is make it like this so it is darker at the above and then this. okay very simple animation and then at the end again same animation is there nothing else okay very easy okay so try to complete the rest of the video yourself the animations were very simple and the techniques had been taught See you in the next video.